Play Studio, Keyframes, and Freeze Pose. Keyframes may work a little bit differently in Anime Studio than you think. For example, let's just say that we want to move the arms and the head, and we want them to move one after the other. So I'm going to go to frame 12 and just make his left arm move. Then I'm going to go to frame 24 and make his head tilt down. Then I'm going to go to frame 36 and move his other arm. So you may think that those things are going to uh, behave one right after the other, but if you actually watch them, they all start at the same time. And that's because um, the, uh, you did not freeze the pose. So we can fix that by getting rid of those frames. And again, what we will do is I will um, move his arm and then freeze the pose by going to animation uh, bone freeze pose. Now that's also control F. So now I can go to the 24th frame and move his head and again I want to freeze that pose because now what I want to do is I want to be freezing all of the bones not just that one. And I, Oops, not to use that yet, uh, but go to the 36th frame and now move his arm down and we could freeze that pose but we're not going to do any more. So I'm going to uh, turn that on and you'll see that each action happens independently because we did the freeze pose. However, what you need to know is that that freeze pose only affects the bone rotations. So to do something similar to show that, let me do something a little bit different and I'm going to rotate the arm and again I'm going to freeze the pose with the control F. Go to the 24th frame and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him squat. Again I'm going to do the control F and then I'm going to make in the 36th frame, I'm going to make his head squash. Now let's see what happens when we play that. All of the animations again are happening at the same time and that's because by default the freeze pose is only going to affect uh, the rotation. So in order to fix this, in order to get it to behave the way that you think it, you probably want it to behave, what you want to do is select all of the bones and go to the first frame. So you can go to frame zero and click on the uh, fast forward kind of step forward and you're at frame one. Now what you want to do is select the transform bone tool, the one with a little kind of circle looking thing, and click on reset for the length, the scale, and the angle. So now what you have is you have established a base point for all of the manipulations, the um, movement, the scaling, and the rotation. So now as I go to frame 12, if I um, rotate his arm and then do the control F, the freeze pose, and then I can go to frame 24 and make him squat, and again I do my freeze pose and then go to frame 36 and let's now make his head squash a little bit. Now we can see the play and they will all happen one after the other. So that's how you should do the keyframes with freeze pose in Anime Studio.